What's up everyone, it's Diego with Lister's Notes. Today we're going to be talking about the new project from Ugly God. This one is called The Booty Tape. Ugly God's a very young MC, rapper, producer, and he just made the 2017 XXL freshman list. This is his first project since then, and I'm not really shocked that he put something out like this. He has so little material to his name, even though he made a list like this and he has all this exposure. I mean, he had like 20 songs prior to the release of this album and he doesn't even he didn't even have anything on major streaming platforms besides soundcloud which is dying so he really needed something to hold over his fans and to also draw in new fans who are hearing about him from double xl but then they look on their streaming platforms and they can't find anything to listen to and i don't know if this tape is necessarily going to hold over new fans or draw in new fans but i do think his old fans will find some stuff to like here i mean let's be fair about ugly god a lot of his attention has come from his meme status and for his hilariously graphic and sexual trap style songs that are blunt funny and in many ways kind of childish but the concern is always we know that memes die actually kind of quickly so it always seems like ugly god isn't going to transcend his meme status he has to find a way to be this funny meme and either find new jokes find new ways to further himself or just make good music that, that will draw in fans that way and while i do feel that this project, The Booty Tape, has some flashes of Ugly God's talent, I can't say the album itself is an enjoyable experience. Instead, I'm just left to salivate with what Ugly God could become. First things first, let's talk about the production here. I have to say, the beats here aren't that bad at all, and everything here is produced by Ugly God himself, which is super impressive to me. He can make a decent beat. Sadly, his producer tag, which is this thanks Ugly God, like a uh, vocal snippet is so annoying, and he plays like three or four times before the song starts. And to be fair, most of these beats are just these uh, trap influenced beats with some decent samples worked in. They're bassy, but they're just serviceable. They're pedestrian. They get the job done, but they don't do anything else. I wouldn't say any of them here are mind blowing or special. They just get the job done. Once again, Ugly God does show that he can make a beat, but the question will be how will he progress to include better songwriting, unique textures, maybe beat switch-ups, maybe just different styles of beats besides trap. It's just potential is what I'm seeing now. And I'd also like to add that I kind of hope that Ugly God will eventually add more of his personality into his beats. As a whole, although the beats sound okay, they're really bland, tasteless, flavorless and uninteresting they may fill a role and they may do it well but i kind of wish his bombastic and hilarious personality showed up in the production too not just in the lyrics lyrically ugly god is his funny self i mean he's just a funny guy as always he probably won't like this co comparison and i don't think his fans will but his style reminds me a lot of riffraff not in the typical sense in terms of their lyrics but Similar to Riff Raff, if you're taking Ugly God way too seriously, you're not going to like this at all. He's just a joke, and it's more than apparent on the song Fuck Ugly God, which is a diss track for himself. It's hilarious, it's pretty clever, and he's just going in on himself. The hook, which is, is like, fuck ugly god, group chant, it's hilarious. Another nice addition to, to the track. The song Smoking Blacks and Milds is a song that's basically making fun of this woman who's like smoking cigars and just telling her how nasty she is. And I think this song is really funny because ugly god is going in on her. He throws in some good jokes, just his personality and how um, unapologetic he is, is pretty hilarious. Also, going along with that, there's a lot of songs here, of course, that are about Ugly God's sexual habits. We have the song, I'm Trying to Fuck, the song, I'm a Nasty Ho, and the song, LDC. And I, I would say that just about every song on this album has something funny about it. But I'm not a fan of the track, I'm a Nasty Ho, just because of all of the singing and the singing. It doesn't do anything for me at all. It's really flat. And the instrumental here really doesn't support the singing at all. And then just singing these goofy lyrics over this really bland, slowed down trap beat. It just, it's too much for me. It's just, ugh, yeah, I can't do it. Another complaint I do have is the lack of nuance with the lyrics here. It's really just a bunch of childish 
jokes that you'll get the first time you hear it and then after that there's not really much to re-listen to this album for the, the beats aren't that good sure ugly god brings a pretty decent flow and i think his delivery and personality are there but the lyrics really don't have much replay value to to them they're fairly uninteresting after you've heard them once. But as a whole, I do think there's a nice base of songs for Ugly God fans here, even though most of them have already came out before. But people who don't like him won't get anything from this tape. This tape will not change their mind because it is one dimensional as hell. Not only that, but it's only 20 minutes with really short tracks that just feel underwhelming. They're not even written out or fleshed out, they're just ideas. I need a longer bro project with songs that actually have been developed and written. Because at the moment, it feels like either Ugly God and his people don't have the talent to write longer songs, or they just know they don't have to. They can just slap to together a minute of in 30 seconds of something completely unsatisfying and uninteresting and just hand it to their fans and they'll eat it right up at the moment he's got to write longer tracks and that again goes back to his lyrical content some of these topics can't be fleshed out for as long as they should be and they won't be satisfying because of it this isn't mad villainy this isn't some album where you can work with snippets because there's just not enough diversity with the tracks. And my biggest issue with this album being 20 minutes came from the fact that it was so boring, one-dimensional, and it just lacked a lot of character. If you are going to make an album this short, you cannot have a single flaw, because each flaw just stands out so much more, because there's not a lot of other material there to compensate. And that's why the 20-minute mark is so frustrating to me. As a young artist, he should know that doing this puts him in a place of vulnerability. Not to mention, the mediocre beats really aren't doing much to diversify the album. I don't hate this tape, but there's such a lack of substance here. Like, I finished this album wondering, like, is that it? Is that all we we got? Is that everything? It's just so... It leaves me, me want, wanting more, but not in a good way. It makes me wonder, is this all he can do? This same style of song that just gets stale? This album is somehow only 20 minutes long, so way too short. But at the same time, it feels stale and repetitive because he only has one style. It's a 52 out of 100 for, for me. I don't hate it. It's decent. It's better than X's Revenge, in my opinion. But it leaves me wanting more, and it really makes me question whether or not Ugly God is too one dimensional to last that long in the music world. Time will tell, but I do hope that he can find a way to make an album that satisfies not only with its length, but with its content from front to back. I don't hate this tape, but there's such a lack of substance here. Like, I finished this album wondering, like, is that it? 